How many tanks are we missing now, though, due to this? 700 tanks. F even 700 tanks is only 98 days, so you know what? Fuck it. Crank that out to 72. Now, we're missing 1.2 thousand tanks. That lasts 162 days. And 60,000 guns, 288 days. And all of that will be ready, uh, ready to go by the time, uh... Hey, there's a Dutch Revolution. I knew we'd see it eventually. Let's see these want to settle the government here. Ah, we'll reject them. You, you go do your own thing, West Indies. Or East Indies, I should say. They'll probably join the Entente. Yeah, they joined the Entente. Oh no, they've they've left our faction. I know, incredible, right? Who could have seen that coming? I mean, we do have hey, Germany's Asia. They're actually gonna have a front line with the International, which is very rare, but they, they do have one. Second Prussian intervention. Annexation. Well, we're not gonna send the border guards. You're not in a faction yet. They should at some point join. I don't know when exactly it'll be. There you go. They join the Internationale right away. That was the Internationale looking. I mean, it's all of Western Europe, essentially, other than Portugal. Ireland, I still don't know why they haven't joined quite, quite yet, but they should soon. The world's more red than the red world mod. It actually might be, like unironically. Like that, that it's very red for sure. With some shades of pink in there. Burma joining international. I mean, it's actually probably one of the more international internationals we've seen. I, th I think Poland will. Um... Okay, it looks like the. West Indies Union will survive. Okay, yeah, so they do join the Eastern Front there. Hello, Finland. And for us to get military revivalists, we need new textbooks. That needs both of these. Okay, so let's go for armor technology first. I mean, if we can... I was gonna say, like, if we can get our way into the, um... After that, we'll, we'll just uh, build more military factories in the middle of the country. Because, yeah, Pol Poland and Ukraine should join the International at some point. It would be funny if Poland joins a regular International and Ukraine joins the Eastern Front. Because then Poland... He looks around it. Yeah, no, we absolutely, absolutely are. Um, there, there's no denying that. And that's not including the fact that Lithuania will eventually leave us as well. Okay, there's Indonesia. Welcome. They will also join the International if they end up winning their war. I think we're going to set... Yeah, let's set you into a new army here. Your job will be to kind of be... I guess, like... I'm going to say on that front. I'm going to say no. I'm actually going to put you on the border with, Ar with uh, Austria here. And your job is going to be to kind of, like, put troops wherever Austria is going to need help. How many troops does Austria have? 59 to... F 9 to 53. Pretty big uh, range there, I would say. Ship, aircraft. Can I get another tank upgrade? Or breakthrough? Entrenchment speed. More breakthrough. Yeah, we're gonna go for armor spearhead. And you know what? Why not? Let's let's try to get like a couple of actual tank divisions in here as well. Okay, Bati has immediately fallen to the revolution. We have two more. We're going to send you to the Austrian front. I wish Austria could also join the International, but of course that's not actually possible. Just really give us the full... Uh... I think if Austria were to join the International, I think it would just kill us. I don't think we have quite enough men to make that actually work. Even though, by God, we're trying. Okay, and you... I'm gonna throw you under this other guy, and your job is basically right now just be in Berlin. 
And your job is, uh... Just to try to stop British landings. I'm not worried about Russian naval invasions, because it's the Russian naval invasions, they don't really happen. At least, not too, too often. So we got a lot of French troops here. I think France will eventually start sending troops in through, um... The Netherlands into Belgium after... After the war actually begins. Let's put, another arm. Let's put another unit here as well. Right. We can deploy 70 more troops. That's not including when we go to War Economy, which is going to give us an extra 10%. I do think we can get our way to total, mo total mobilization for sure. Maybe that'll be what we need to get our way up to a... I think 400 divisions. 400 divisions, I feel, would be... Pretty nice to have. Hot take, but I think it'd be pretty good if we had a, a we had a big army. Okay, Ireland's joining international as well. So I mean, it, it's not looking good, but that's the point, right? It'd be hilarious if we end up dying within like six months. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, there it goes, Rio de Janeiro. Apparently, they fall into the Rio Grande do Sul. What division templates are we building our army around? Right now, they're not, like, super, super uh, impressive. They're just 20 combat width. I know the... Can t somebody tell me, what is the actual meta... The meta unit right now? Because I know it's not 20 combat width anymore. I think it's... It's like 32 or something like that. I mean, how much, how much more equipment do we have? We have a thousand support equipment. Could I theoretically add a support company in here, like engineering? No, not really. I mean, we could for someone maybe one of the smaller armies, like, uh... We have five templates with you, 69 with you, 3-3. Three, three. 30 combat or 10 combat with what a lot of meta players use. I mean, if I were to go 30 combat with... Gonna take a quick look at this. Maybe, maybe add a couple of uh, tank divisions in there. Just a couple of light tanks. I mean, we need 12,000 tanks to make that work. Which, though, that's a lot of tanks. And that would be... Okay, probably not that many tanks. Get, get some light tanks in here. I think Kaiser Meta Metafair's larger divisions. I mean, you'd still need 8,000 tanks. You know what? Fuck it, dude. There you go. I'm going to... get rid of some of these guys and not, you know, build up maybe this many. We need 17,000 tanks right now. That's cool. But we do have our 20% cheaper tank cost, though. So that's something that does help us out. War support plus 20%. What are, what are you? You're, you're the Navy. Navy sucks. Don't worry about that. Research speed. Production. Invite Poland to the Reichs back. Probably, I'm going to say, it's probably not going to work. So 14,000 tanks. Right now, that's going to take 1,500 days. It's quite expensive. You know... So you know what? I I will. Let, let's get one one less tank, okay? Let, let's not be too crazy with that. Some sort of anti tank. I don't think we actually have anti tank guns research, to be quite honest with you. Okay, there's we're, there's less tanks, okay? Forty two hundred for reinforcement. Now it's only going to take about two years. That's okay. I wouldn't mind getting like another ten tank, uh, another tank, another ten uh, factories on tanks here, where we can. They're be still in the Belgrade Pact. They're now social democratic, so maybe they actually will not join the international anymore. Hey, wait, no. Always false. 
By the way, the front takes over Bulgaria. So I'm actually not too sure. But more military facts on tank. Okay, what do we have a lot of that we don't need? We have a thousand on trucks. We, we actually have a thousand on artillery. We can take one off artillery. We can definitely take one off support equipment. It gets us up to 22 tanks. We're making 10 per day. Maybe also making extremely expensive tanks wasn't the best idea. But, you know, you live and let live. You, you live and learn. I'm going to assign you to this army for now. More civilian factor. Okay, there we go. Just build more military factories. We have about a year. We have a year to industrial as quickly as possible. These factories are going to take... 20 seconds. To, that's actually like a month. A month per military factory seems really fucking good. And that's actually where we're at 60%. It's not including like Westphalia where we have like a 80% construction bonus. Yeah, there's military factories literally all over the goddamn place. Yeah, definitely, we can definitely meet, we can definitely get some uh, anti-tank. Whenever, whenever we have another bonus here, or another research slot open, I should say, we can we can put in some tanks. Or anti-tank guns. We do need more trains. We can steal trains from our civilian government at some point. Or from the civilians of the country. CSA is doing very, very well. They should end up winning civil war soon. Uh, where are they listed? Is it only like halfway dead? Yes, you're a national populist. The rest of you seem more or less okay. I mean, the Ottoman War still hasn't even happened yet. Like, like the Ottoman, the, the Cairo Pact War still has not occurred. Cancel. Did they go? Pro Young Officers, Republican Guard. But they're not socialists. So maybe they gotta do this first. I don't actually know. You have anti air? Does, wait, does anti air have piercing? Why would anti air have piercing? Doesn't he make any sense? I mean, not that anti air would actually be bad to make. Yeah, it's 25 piercing. Do they just aim the anti air guns at tanks? Well, okay, what's, what's the piercing for an anti tank gun? 60. Okay, we're, we're just going to wait until we have um until we have anti-tank guns. That just seems better. We also need... We don't need more trucks. We need more trains. We're not making any trains right now. So, you know, let's quickly throw this at the top of the list. Just so we're at least making some trains right now. The 80, 88 millimeter AA gun was the most popular and effective anti-tank weapon. That's actually incredible. Chief Air Force, Chief Navy. You probably want to get maybe an air superiority guy in here. Get that going. Okay. We've now removed Victor's little via the Krieg. Gives us more experience, yay. I mean, I guess that'd be good for doctrines, because I don't think we have a single doctrine research at all. Actually, we probably should get... Oh, we have, we have what, 44 points? We should at least... Static, warfare, flexible... Reconnaissance... I mean, 10% organization recovery rate seems pretty good. Yeah, we don't have a single doctrine yet. How are tanks doing? Only missing 6.9k. Most of... It's about 50-50 in terms of new deployment versus reinforcement. We are missing 52,000 guns. But the guns are really not an actual issue. Surprisingly enough. Do we need these tank divisions? Yeah, you know what we do. Three tanks. Again, you guys are not in the international yet. I do think that, I think it has to be when the World War Axe begins, is when that event will fire. What about Russia? 
I think you just got the option to invade whenever we're at war with France, if I remember correctly. But I can't guarantee that to be the case. Okay, so we have about 19 days. Well, about two weeks. Let me get two options. Get the anti-tank guns. Build at least a, a few of them. I'm not, I'm not too sure how many we're going to need. Probably in the thousands would be my guess. Yeah, because you need 84 light tanks each. When will we be the eight-month um, second Villacrieg? Um, I mean, it would be difficult for sure. I'm trying to think, like, who else? I mean, with Britain... I mean, probably if you were to play Britain and you were to get more motorized divisions, you could probably do it faster. Because, I mean, if you want a fast second Vilkrieg, it has to be against Germany. I, I don't really think as Germany you can blitz your way through France and Britain as easily as Britain and France can blitz their way through Germany. Just because Germany is like, you kill Germany, the second Vilkrieg automatically ends. You have to kill both France and Britain for the second or third international to actually die. Okay, Britain is now fully secured in their position on Earth. I was so close to taking this. No, we need to get our anti-tank. 89 days, pretty cheap. And then we'll go for excavation. Argentina is still alive. I don't think it's going to be lasting for too, too long, though. Take another ideology check. Colombia is now socialist. They should join the international, I would imagine, at some point. What about the Canadians? Are the Canadians going to go to war with the CSA? It's quite possible. I mean, how is the Entente actually doing as a faction? Garbage, I, I think, would be the, uh, the, the polite way to put it. Very bad. They've gone... What, one member? I guess two if you want to include the Portuguese. But Portugal also jo always joins the Entente, so I don't think it even counts. I don't think the Entente's going to save us, boys. Just a hunch. You know? And if you think that the Entente has any chance to do literally anything, I think you're, I think you're sorely mistaken. Okay, Santa Claus overthrown the Greek government. I mean, they could they could definitely do it. Apparently, they're actually still on Washington, surprisingly enough. The looming war. I mean, let's see. Can, do we know do we know what they've done? They need to cross in the border. So I think they fear I don't know where they are in their focus tree. Okay, so we got the socialists against the uh the monarchist. Are they the monarchists? Actually, I don't know what faction they are. But basically, we have the socialist against the not socialist. We'll see who comes out on top. Of course, we do want the socialist to win so that we could beat them up ourselves. Okay, we now. We can get our first doctrine Breakthrough on armor tank variants. I mean, I, I want to take it. What does that put our tanks, um. Where, why I'm so bad at clicking these goddamn buttons. What's your um, breakthrough now? 40.2. That seems pretty good. We can actually, if we look at you, your breakthrough normally is 50. Your breakthrough right now is 165. So it's about three times better than a basic infantry. Which I think is pretty good. We go for military aid revival. More factories. More factories? You know what that means? It means more tanks. It means a lot of tanks. We're building five military factories right now at once. I think that seems pretty good. And what are we on right now? We're at 17% consumer good. I believe you're an extra 5%. No, you're not. I'm looking at, I'm thinking about a different thing. You are the... 
What gives less consumer goods? Unless I, I might have already taken it, actually. Is there anything consumer goods? No, it was, it was the Panther Factories. I can't do you anymore. No, that's, that's basically all we have. I'm, I'm, all, I'm also, like, even thinking we just go construction engineering just for an extra... No, you actually... No, not you. Do you not do, um... No, you actually don't go military factories faster. I'm, I'm mistaken. Send volunteers to right for a more powerful third international. I mean, we could. Actually, can we? Surprisingly, yes. We could send volunteers. You know what? It'd be, it's kind of funny. So we're going to do it. There we go. How many volunteers are they getting? Spain. I'm surprised that like, France and Britain are kind of like not sending volunteers to anybody, and I don't know why. So... We need to send some aircraft. Again, here's my favorite trick. If you have not seen this trick before, we can't. We cannot send our 800 planes to Italy because we can only send 340. However, however, you just send one four stack, and then you combine all of your planes together. Never mind. It didn't work that time. Send you here. And now combine. Now you're now we have 800 planes going to Tuscany. Boom. It worked out pretty well. We'll split you in half. And there you go. 800 to 1 out of 340. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense that Germany would do this. I'm I'm sure international observers would be very confused right now. But at least we kind of get to see what's happening over here. You have volunteers from basically the entire of the Entente. I mean, we also get air experience out of this, right? How much experience do we get? 0.2 daily. Actually, we just get a stupid amount of air experience. Yeah, this actually is broken. Like, being able to send essentially infinite number of planes is a little bit broken. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at that air experience just go up. Actually, what it, I'm assuming we don't get air experience by flying over the Po Valley, right? No, obviously not. That makes no sense. So, sorry, um, two Sicilies. We are throwing you under the bus a little bit. Just so I can get some air experience. Also, we have a tech that we have, uh, not been using. So, give me... 1940's not that long. We're in 1939 now. You can use more recruit population, which allows us to essentially take... Is when you send volunteers to South Italy. I, you can't do that, unfortunately. You cannot send volunteers to both sides of the Civil War. Even though that would be incredible. It'd be hilarious. It's just not possible. Okay, a rock has risen up. Actually, it's a little bit rare for a rock to actually rise up in the Ottoman War. I feel like it's been happening less and less recently. You just get 1.5 political power, which is pretty good, I would say. Okay, there's the military survival. That will essentially counteract the 3% penalty we take for total mobilization. And we should actually be able to do total mobilization the day the war begins. I don't think we're going to spend any more political power, really. Two times reduction of air doctrine. Be nice to get two air doctrines back to back when this is done. Okay, monarchy has been restored to Greece. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true because they're currently in the middle of a civil war. But we'll, uh, we'll see who comes out on top here. Hey, another division. Let's send you to... Pink Front for now, because that's actually the border with the French. So you're missing 23,000 guns, 5.5 thousand uh, tanks. How's fuel doing? I mean, who could... I guess fuel has to come from Romania, basically. There's really nobody else that would make sense to get fuel from. Oh, 
Also, like, you're not... Not completed the focus to the third revolution. I have no idea. I don't know, actually. Because they had the...